Hi everyone, Happy New Year. In this video, I want to explain the likelihood of your child outgrowing an allergy to dairy. This is a very common question I get from parents, so I'm hoping that this video will help you. Now, first of all, statistics say that 85% um, of children by the age of three will have outgrown their allergy to dairy. Now, if your child has an egg allergy, they will most likely also outgrow this by the age of three. However, if your child has a peanut allergy, only about 10% outgrow this allergy. So you see an allergy to dairy or an allergy to egg, long term, is looking very positive, whereas peanut is not looking so positive. So it's not just about, it. it what, what I'm trying to say is the likelihood of outgrowing an allergy depends on the food, but it also depends on the severity of your child's symptoms. So for example, if your child had mild to moderate cow's milk protein allergy as a baby, for example, colic, reflux, constipation, then the likelihood for them to outgrow this allergy is looking a lot better than someone who had um, a bit more of a severe type of non-IgE mediated cow's milk protein allergy, such as eczema, projectile vomiting, even faltering growth. So you see, it's not just about the food, it's also about the initial symptoms that a child presents with. So for example, when I have a parent who says, when do you think my child would outgrow their allergy? I don't mention the statistics <laughs> because our children are not statistics. Our children are individual. So I have to look at the individual child and go, okay, the initial symptoms were eczema covered in the whole body, projectile vomiting. I do not believe that your child will be ready for the milk ladder at the age of one. So the milk ladder is a step-by-step -step guide to where we introduce milk back into the diet. Yes, it's great to expose our children to the allergen. So because obviously research show that early exposure might reduce the risk of allergies later in life. But I always look, when it comes to an allergy to dairy, I always look at the individual child and I go, okay, they were really struggling in early life. So let's wait till they're about 14, 15 months. But if someone had colic or constipation, I go, oh, let's go eight. Eight months, eight months old, let's introduce dairy back into the diet, given that they have been six months dairy free, of course. So the likelihood of your child outgrowing their allergy to dairy depends on the food. I assume because you're watching this video, it's dairy. So it depends on the severity of your child's initial symptoms. What did they present with? And remember to be patient. I have a lot of parents who get anxious if their child haven't outgrown their allergy to dairy by the age of one or even by the age of three. But our children are so unique, they're all so different and we have to just take a step back and um, accept that not every child will outgrow their allergy at the same speed of your next door neighbor. Everyone's different. So I hope this video is helpful. If it is, please let me know in the comments below and you can also like if you want to personally I you know I don't like when people say I should like their videos <laughs> so I'm not going to tell the same to you but if you do want to do it you're more than welcome and share this with someone actually sharing this with someone might be more beneficial because there will be a mom out there who would need to hear this message so bye everyone and I'll see you in the next video